Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to install the Darktable Photo Editor on Linux. So the Darktable Editor is something that you definitely want to check out if you are a photographer on the Linux platform. It's open source. It's a little bit like Lightroom. I'm not a photographer by any means, but I do use it sometimes. And uh, the way you install it, you can do it in a couple of different ways. So, so in my tutorial that I wrote, we have information on how to get the Darktable app working and getting the latest version on all of the different distributions. And we also cover how to build it from source because unlike a lot of these apps, uh, like you know, a lot of these modern applications, there are there's no snap package or anything like that for the Darktable app. But uh, we're going to cover the Ubuntu installation. And as you can see, though I could probably just open up Discover here, uh, if I really wanted to, I could search for Darktable. And I could do the same thing in the terminal or with, uh, you know, the Linux uh, equivalent on other distributions. Sorry, the equivalent on other, other distributions. I could click Install, but this version isn't going to be the absolutely latest. And uh, if I'm a photographer, I'm going to want the absolute latest. So the way I can get the absolute latest is by going to the tutorial and the link in the description, just quickly copying this PPA, adding it up, entering the password here. Uh, this is going to tell me what this is going on. Uh, it's going to warn me not to install the binary packages. I can update and uh, we can scroll down and I go over how this all works. And then, and you know, if you already have Darktable installed, you can just run a regular update because what this is going to do is it's going to give you newer stuff. It's going to update the packages you already have. But if you don't have Darktable, uh, like I said, you can go into your app store or you can do what I prefer to do, which is just sudo apt install Darktable tack y and then it will go and as you can see it is downloading stuff from the ppa we just added and not from the archive so we're getting a more up-to-date version which is great if you know you're a photographer and you want the absolutely latest stuff uh while that's installing i should go back over the article so uh so as as you guys can uh as I, I mentioned earlier where it says do not install these packages in debian if you are a debian user it's still possible to get the latest version of dark table and you do that with the back ports and we cover that we also cover how to get it in arch fedora OpenSUSE, and like i mentioned building it from source all right so now that dark table is installed we can go through to our graphics menu and we can just load up the app and uh we are ready to develop and edit some photos in the Darktable Lightroom. So like I said, I don't have a camera or anything like this. I don't have any professional photos, but if I did, this is what I would use. Please check the link in the description to check out this article and learn how to get it going for your distribution. I will see you guys in the next video.